Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Here's my breakfast. One point coffee, nut pods, eggs, zucchini, and a mixture of sweet potatoes. And these are white sweet potatoes. I think they're, um, I don't know what they're called. Um, I grabbed them by mistake, but they are sweet potatoes. I think they're like the Japanese ones. I'm not sure, but um, they're the same amount of points as regular ones. So this little mixture is four points. I'm counting the same little bit of olive oil because I didn't use much. So four, five, six point breakfast. And I did not get to have my tea this morning. I will have it before lunch because I have so much to do and I was starving. Happy day 15 for me, guys. I'm halfway there. Hi, guys. Happy gloomy Monday. My God, I'm so over the winter. Like beyond over the winter. Anyway, it is 12.20. I could not wake up to go to the gym this morning because I couldn't sleep last night. I feel like Sundays do that a lot of the time. Um, so I'm going to the gym now. I am too tired. I, don't, I just could not sleep last night. <sighs> um, just one of those nights. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go have a good workout because I feel like if you don't start on a Sunday or a Monday, I really wanted to go yesterday. But I had so much stuff to do around the house and then Rob's family was like um, Sunday dinner and it wasn't like something that was pre-planned so it kind of like put a wrench in my day but it was still really nice. So yeah, I am going to the gym now because it's got to start eventually, right? It's been, it's been like a struggle for me to get back to a good gym routine so I need to like get to it. And so I figured since I wasn't starving, I might as well do a quick workout first. Um, yeah, day 15, I can't even believe that I'm halfway through. Uh, time is flying by, which is a good thing because I'm definitely feeling like the winter blues this year and I'm just like over the winter. I can't, like, I can't take it anymore. I want the sunshine. I feel like going away in the middle of the winter almost made it worse because it was so nice. It was so nice, but to come back to this, it's almost like more depressing because it's freezing. I can't, I can't even take it guys. I feel like such a whiner. <laughs> Life could be way worse besides the winter. I totally know that. But I just get these like blues that we call them blues. So hoping a workout will totally help. Hey guys, I just had a, such a good workout. I haven't had a workout like this in forever. Um, I went back to like my old workout plans when I was um, doing a challenge with Erica. Um, if you guys need like fitness, ad fitness advice or someone to like teach you good workouts, I definitely recommend Erica Denton. She's, um, I will leave her Instagram and her um, website down below. I did challenges with her last year the exact same time like I started because I remember I signed up like the day that I got engaged and that was a year ago yesterday and um, I started I think like tomorrow with like the 13th so I went back into my old emails and I just like I'm dripping I haven't dripped sweat in so long so I'm super super happy with that workout and once I feel like I just need to keep up the routine last week got all messed up because of like working late so I'm really hoping after this week the working late should minimize should cut back a little bit not minimize that doesn't make sense um, so I'm really hoping I need to get contacts sorry just thinking the Sun is finally out and the Sun being out makes me want iced coffee I need to find a way to make a good sugar-free iced coffee because all I want is a caramel macchiato from Starbucks or Dunkin and those are gonna have to be like treats like once a month because I cannot, I cannot have this yeast thing. Somebody recommended in my last video, boric acid, and I have done that before and I reordered them because I just, I did it for two weeks straight. With that combination and the Whole30, I didn't have a yeast infection for like months, for like three months. So she had mentioned that she did like an upkeep of like three every week just like maintenance so i'm thinking i'm gonna have to stick to that um and stick to the sugar-free high carb gluten diet like no gluten and no sugar so um but i 
hope once in a while it won't kill me because I mean, I'm dying for one right now. Um, I'm gonna head back to the house and deny this call. I'm so sick of these scam calls. It like even says scam likely now. So annoying. Um, I'm gonna eat lunch, chug in my water. I'm gonna make my tea because I haven't had that yet. And yeah, I haven't had, I was supposed to have the colon one last night, but we went to Rob's family's house for Sunday dinner. I did so well. The mo his mom, my mother-in-law made, um, it's still so weird saying mother-in-law in-laws um so she made like two options which was really nice she made um like a roast beef and like some i think it was chicken marsala either way i couldn't have the chicken because it was breaded and it looked delicious i doubt she made it whole 30 fruit so i had the uh pot roast with some sweet potatoes and some roasted veggies i stayed away from the dessert i stayed away from the wine i was just so proud of myself get over but yeah I'll show you guys lunch so yesterday I was able to get some meal prep done so I did um, cook up two pieces of chicken and a big batch well I thought it was big I never make enough um, well I had it for breakfast too of the roasted sweet potatoes um, these are like the white sweet potatoes with regular sweet potatoes um, so I'm going to cut up some chicken warm it up with some zucchini and I have to rinse off these Brussels sprouts I'm gonna shred those up and have a little avocado with it. I'm um, so happy that I was able to do this. This might also be dinner because I don't know how late I'm working. But at least I have options. I just seasoned this with salt, pepper, garlic, and paprika. So I'm going to shred this. No, well, not shred. I chopped them up. Cut this up. Do this. Get everything all together and then eat because I'm starving. So I just got my veggies sauteing away in about a teaspoon of olive oil. And I'm just going to throw everything in here to warm it up. I cut up my chicken. And then I'm going to... Put a little bit of this in. I've kind of been just putting some in my mouth. Gotta throw that out. Guys, the struggle is real over here today. The little one wanted to make cookies and these just look like the fluffiest, most delicious cookies. And my mouth is watering. Gina, no, no, none for you. Here's your food. It's not even like I'm craving sugar. At this point, it's like gone. It's just like, looking at them they just look like they would go so well with a cup of coffee you know what i mean <laughs> so i'm not gonna do it guys i love meals like this look how big this plate is look at all this food so the chicken is zero the veggies are zero the sweet potatoes are three the olive oil is one so we've got four and we've got five so five points for all of this delicious food I can't wait to eat. I need to refill up my water. I'm gonna do this, check some things off my list and figure out what else I have to do for today. Yes, I'm watching Year in the Life for the 100,000th time, guys. I am also making my teamy skinny tea. I cannot forget to take the colon one tonight because it definitely cleans you out, if you know what I mean. And I totally needed that. So I've got the tea in there. I'm just gonna wait for the hot water to get hot. I'm microwaving it. And then I'm going to enjoy my tea and fold some laundry because the kids will be home in about 10 minutes. All right, guys, I've got a lot going on for dinner, and this isn't even for my dinner. This is, I'm making Rob, look at my tan line from my ring. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, I'm making Rob meat sauce and tortellini. Um, I am making for myself, I've got some chicken baking in here with some Tessame's barbecue sauce. I love this stuff. So I came home craving something spicy. I was going to make the paleo, Whole30 approved buffalo chicken nugget bites that I like. And I was out of Frank's Red Hot. So I was very happy to find that I still had this in the fridge. I feel like stuff like this is just a staple to have when you are not in the mood to create a gourmet meal. So like I just poured a little bit of this on the chicken and it's baking up and this stuff is delicious. If you like spicy, it's a little bit spicy if you ask me. 
but I'm, grind I'm cooking up this meat for some meat sauce and back here I've got some potatoes boiling for just Jesse B's um, crispy smashed potatoes. I'm so excited. I wish I thought this through when I had all the ingredients to make the sauce that she has for on top, but it is no big deal. They're still going to be delicious. So I'm boiling them to get them nice and soft and then you smash them down and get them crispy in the oven. So super excited. This meat sauce could very well be compliant, but the sauce that I'm using is not Whole30 compliant because it has sugar in it. I could not find the one at Trader Joe's that did not have sugar. It's hard to do that left-handed. So, Rob gets a non-Whole30 compliant dinner. Um, I thought I was actually going to be at work late tonight, so I don't usually make two dinners like this. I just told him to take the ground beef out of the freezer so that when I got home I could whip him this up really quick and I didn't want the meat to go bad so you guys know I don't usually make two dinners I usually make like two variations but I never make two different dinners it's not the kind of household this is so yeah I'll show you guys everything when it's all done I'll show you how I smash the potatoes because I've never done this before so we're doing this both together for the first time this is the sauce that I'm using for Rob's meat sauce and it has sugar in it and soybean oil. Isn't there sugar in this? Or maybe it's just soybean oil that's bad? Let's see, organic. Either way, it's not compliant. Organic, tomato puree, tomato paste, tomatoes, organic basil, organic soybean oil, salt, organic onion, garlic powder. Oh, there's no sugar in it. It does have soy though, so this is not compliant. I got them in the pan here, and I just melted a little bit of ghee, and then I just smooshed them down like this. I thought I would smoosh them in and then put them in the oven, but that's not how the recipe works. Um, so I just wanted to do four really quickly so I can show you guys because I wanted to dry them off before I put them in here. And I'm going to cook up a few more, and then I'm going to put the rest in a container in the fridge so I could use them for other things as well. All right, guys, here's my quick and easy delicious dinner. The potatoes kind of fell apart, so maybe I was doing it wrong. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I cooked them too long. I don't know, but they still look good. I put a little salt and pepper on them. This is four points. Three for the potatoes, one for the ghee. Zero for this, and one for the barbecue sauce, because chicken is zero. So we've got four, five, five point dinner. I think I'm under my points for today. I'll have to check, but um, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of avocado to this as well. Guys, the smashed crispy potatoes are out of this world. I think it's because they're crisped in like ghee. I love the flavor of ghee. Um, I know that some people don't really like it, but my God, those are delicious. I'm so happy I made extra potatoes so I could do it again. I'm gonna wrap these bad boys up because I just put the chicken away. I'm gonna end today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh no, I'm not gonna end it yet because I am gonna have my colon tea and I wanna show you guys that. Rewind, not ending it yet. I still have things to do. All right guys, here we go. I love how this stuff cleaned me out, if you will. So I'm gonna enjoy this tea and I'm gonna enjoy the last two minutes of the year in the life of Gilmore Girls and cry my eyes out at those last four words. For the hundredth time. No, this is only my fourth. This is only my fourth time watching *The Year in the Life*. So, I mean, it's still a lot. <laughs> All right, guys. Now I'm gonna end the video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.